go. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Yubel Rabbit. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 for the Hoonigan Day. So, the Hoonigan cars did come out today. I probably shouldn't have stopped so soon. The Hoonigan cars came out actually the other day. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit late on this one. The Hoonigan cars did come out. We do have a few Hoonigan cars out now. We have really heavily the, you know, the Hoonicorn and, uh, the Huna Escort, the Huna Escort, or however they uh, pronounce it. But now we do have Ken Blocks, Jim Kana car, as well as the Hoonigan truck, which I'm super excited to drive. I messed with it a little bit today and uh, a few of the other days, but I did also build a rear wheel drive one. So we're going to mess with all wheel drive Huna truck versus rear wheel drive Hoonigan truck. And we are just going to have some fun in the Hoonigan cars today. We are on our Logitech G920 full 900 degrees of rotation with our energy innovations 350 millimeter wheel hydraulic handbrake and sequential shifter which is perfect for these cars sail i was gonna try and land perfectly so we're gonna mess around with them today so if you guys would keep wanting to see this on the channel and you guys uh do enjoy this let me know down in the comment section down below i just missed it this car sounds amazing so i know everybody's got these cars everybody's been ripping them and having a lot of fun with them I've been actually having a lot of fun with these cars and uh, learning a little bit more all-wheel drive uh, sliding now with these cars. I feel like the Hoonigan truck drives a lot better than the, uh, you know, Hoonicorn. But, so we are going to switch over to that car. So like I said, I did buy a second one and we did make it rear-wheel drive. So the purpose of today is to just have a little fun and see the difference between the rear-wheel drive version and the all-wheel drive version. I didn't change much other than switch it to rear-wheel drive and uh, change some uh, suspension around. But other than that, oh wait, I don't want to get in that car. We're gonna do all-wheel drive first. We're gonna get it in the Hoonigan truck and uh, have a little fun with this. It's kind of insane that the car's out now and we haven't even seen it in videos other than the release video. We haven't seen it driving or anything. We saw a clip of it driving, a clip of it driving without any of its body panels really. So this is actually probably one of my favorite all-wheel drive handling cars right now because as you can see, this thing just rips. And it's just, you know, besides me that this thing handles as well as it does. Ooh, I didn't want to break through that already, but we're just gonna be doing a little gym counter today in these cars. Probably take these things onto the street and have a little fun. But I figured we would have a little fun here in the airport section first. Just a tap. Because, you know, we got this really awesome playground section that uh, Forza has given us. And uh, my all-wheel drive sliding on a wheel has actually gotten a little bit better. If you haven't noticed, it's a little bit better now. It's not as uh, twitchy as it was before. Been doing a little bit of practicing with the... Uh, the Hoonigan truck and stuff like that. I know I am a little bit late to this, uh, late to this party of videos with this truck because everybody else is already throwing it out there. But you know, I've been oh, been hitting walls. I've been busy this weekend, having uh, to do some stuff around the house. So that's why this video is coming out a little bit later than everybody else's. But look how well this thing slides. It's just it's it's amazing how easily this thing handles. Just ripping this thing down the airport. I don't want to hit that wall. But this thing, I feel, does not have as quick of acceleration as, say, the the Hoonicorn. But it could be because of the weight and the big tires. But we can modify this up to a lot of horsepower. But I kind of kept it out of the box, just like they uh, gave it to us. So, like I said, we're going to try the rear-wheel drive one out as well. But we're just like just destroying things here. We got who's down here? Somebody? I bet you you're not in it. I bet you you're probably in 
drag car or a drift car probably a drift car to try and get some skill points a lot of people are doing that find it I'm taking out the cones but as you can see this thing handles so nice and those big beefy 1552s look amazing going around and uh like i said i've just been having a lot of fun with this truck we're not gonna make that oh ow so if you guys have this did you guys leave it all wheel drive did you uh put it real drive what did you do um i was a little bit sad that we couldn't uh convert the uh suspension to like a drift suspension so i built one that's pretty good at sliding but it doesn't have as much angle as i would like it to we're gonna send it on this twisting ramp i missed it just land it and keep going on the road that's exactly what i plan to do <clears throat> you believe that i got some uh some water to sell you so we are just gonna rip this thing probably rip it here in fifth Kick it back. Oh man. So the one thing I've noticed about the truck is it doesn't have as much steering lock as I would like it to have. But uh I guess beggars can't be choosing if we get this amazing car and you know I'm sitting here saying, hey, I wish it had this. But I want to go this way to those twisted roads. But you know, definitely an amazing car and an amazing truck, an amazing machine big you know props to the hoonigan guys and come back for this amazing car i can't wait for the actual video to come out so we can actually see this thing rip in jimtana 10 that's also where the escort will be too i believe so we're gonna send this thing i probably should downshift the third but this thing is super easy to drive i'm noticing and i don't know if that's just the way the truck is and the way it feels i see some nice twisties up here but in a jiffy completed okay i'll throw in the fourth and kick this oh see if i would have had a little more steering lock it would have been awesome but you know i did not i guess can't be choosers so the interior of this car other than my shattered window i love the uh digital number display up top for the gearing and just seeing those turbos and that you know 3d printed uh intake manifold that uh for design it's definitely an amazing amazing machine and just the sound this thing makes is insane and i love the whole fact that the whole back is tubular we just totally screwed that up the whole back of this thing is tubular which makes it so so cool the exoskeleton on the uh, inside of that I feel like we miss these roads so we're gonna hit these dirt roads what better way to uh, get this thing is sideways this is not really dirt these are kind of cool roads there we go whoops this is snap so for those of you guys that are on a wheel do you guys find all-wheel drive to be harder on a wheel or do you find it easier as I just smack into a tree I personally find it a little bit harder on a wheel I can drive all the drive so much easier on a controller but Ooh, this is a nice twisty road definitely been getting the hang of all-wheel drive so like I said I did build a rear wheel drive one so why not take this one out and have a little fun with the rear wheel drive one because you know it was bound to happen you get an amazing car or truck and it's all-wheel drive and they allow you to make it rear-wheel drive you know what's gonna happen wrong button you know it's definitely gonna happen so that's what we did we made it rear-wheel drive changed the suspension a little bit added some brakes to it for like tandem style brakes and uh that's about it and now we're just uh straight power all the way to the rear i believe we increased the uh tire width as well but it just looks amazing now i wish the window stickers would have stayed but they are did not so we're just gonna send this thing now because uh we can there we go Ooh. and see that right there is where i wish the steering lock 
would be a little bit better, but you know what? If we drift it mildly with uh, a little less angle, uh, this car handles super amazing. We're gonna try and get that right here. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, that car got in my way. That was such a nice turn. And I'm finding these really nice, uh, nice, nice little road sections that uh, I need to bring some uh, tuned drift cars out here. But like I said, this thing has been converted to rear wheel drive. Did a little bit of suspension work. Ow. And uh, that's about it. And I do just love the profile of this truck. It looks amazing. It looks fun sliding. Definitely a cool additive to the game. Super glad that we were able to get it for free in the car pass. So if you don't have it, uh, I don't know what you're doing with your life because this thing is by far awesome. I can feel I'm going to get a lot of, uh, get some of my friends online and we're going to be doing some uh, pretty awesome uh, Hoonigan truck, Hoonigan car stuff going on here. Why not rip it through a drift zone? Definitely probably not gonna have the speed or the angle that I need to get a super awesome run. And like I think I've said before, I usually will not take all the drive cars through drift zones because I prefer to keep my scores on drift zones and rear wheel drive than all wheel drive. Now, no, no, you know, Nothing to guys that use all the drive cars in drift zones. It's just personal preference for me. I prefer rear wheel drive cars in drift zones other than all wheel drive. But like I said, this thing is looks so cool with the uh, exoskeleton back. You can just see the rear wheels lock up. And we can just throw this thing as much as we want. So I've definitely been having a lot of fun with this uh, Hoonigan truck. What is this? I haven't been this way? Why not? Oh, oh, it's right around the edge of the airport. How come I haven't seen this road yet? Huh. See, look at some finding roads I've never been on before. But this is actually a nice little uh, pavement-ish road. Other than the across the train tracks. And I'm going to lose that there, little slalom section. So, definitely a lot of fun switching this thing to rear-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive version is just as much fun. But I think my lock is what's killing me right now. So we're going to switch back to the all-wheel drive one and see if we can't do this same little section in all-wheel drive. So definitely got a l good list of videos for you guys coming out this week. We got uh, Torque Drift coming out, probably another live stream on Torque Drift Beta, or Torque Drift Beta, Torque Drift videos, live tandem battles, as well as probably some open lobbies here on Forza Horizon 4. Maybe hopping back to Assetto and uh, Forza 7 as well. So we got to discover this road now. There we go. So we're gonna rip this back the other way and uh, take the all-wheel drive Hoonigan truck through and see how we can do with it being all-wheel drive again. Gotta remember it's all-wheel drive, there we go. So, like I said, I have been uh, working on my all-wheel drive uh, sliding recently to try and get better knowing this, uh, this truck was coming out. But I feel like this truck handles super nice out of the box. And it's uh, definitely going to be a lot of fun. I can see a lot of uh, drift scores uh, going, changing up and stuff like that because of the fact that this truck is out and it can get massive amounts of power. Um, I haven't modified this to full power yet, but I feel like I should, probably should here soon. Just a little more steering lock, and we would be amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at the Hoonigan truck on the channel. I know a lot of people already have it, and I'm a little late to the party, but you know what? I've been having a lot of fun doing it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been having fun with this still. So, I'm gonna bash the back end of that car. <laughs> So you guys know you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all which are found in the description box below. Just a short little video for you guys here today, Monday morning. A uh, little bit of the Hoonigan truck. Like I said, I was super busy this weekend doing some stuff, but I got more longer videos coming out throughout the week for you guys. 
I'm just wrecking everybody today. So, I would appreciate you guys coming back and watching this. And as always, I like thank you guys for coming back all the time and watching these episodes. We are over 2,000. So, big thank you to all the subscribers. We are steadily climbing from that 2,000 mark up. So, I can't thank you guys enough for following and coming back watching these episodes every single day. That's why I do them because I enjoy uh, the feedback I get from you guys and I enjoy bringing the content out. And with Forza Horizon 4 bringing us all this content all the time with all the new events, all the new video or stuff, video opportunities are huge. So, definitely going to be bringing a lot to you guys as uh, the game progresses longer with all these car updates and everything coming out. We're going to rip this thing in six. And we're gonna hit the grass. It's okay, it's all the drive. We can do this, right? Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that I completely came to a complete stop. So, like I said, just a short little video for you guys here today. Just a little slotting and hoonigan and hooning in this uh, hoonigan truck. That train is skipping. Uh, I think Forza has a little bit of a glitch there with that train. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. If I just had more steering angle, I'd be good. And I'm out. Oh, I want something.